this guy. You see this shit? Amateur. He'll never be back. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Pony Lawson. Today we're gonna be doing something a bit different. We've did artist tattoos the past couple weeks, so we're gonna jump in and roast some client tattoos this week. And I'm pretty pumped. I've got my buddy here from Florida. His name's Lefty. Go ahead and tell him what you're about and what kind of work you do. Alrighty, yeah, I do a lot of uh, anime tattoos, mainly uh, geared towards manga style, so, you know, just uh, black work, no color. I also do a lot of single needle micro tattooing, you know, things that are like, Yay big. Hey, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm yeah, no super problem. looking forward to you helping me out with this and seeing where it goes. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we give you our top tattoo as well as our bottom tattoo, or our least favorite, or as we like to call it. Oh, wait, what? I'm supposed to, what, what is it called? The toilet tattoo. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. Up uh, first, we've got Libby Lazar. She sent in a couple tattoos we're gonna go over. The first one she sent in is this Vine Woman. Right away, I can tell the line quality, the line weight isn't that great. You can tell there's some blowouts in some areas and it's a little bit thinner in, in other areas. Some of the leaves in her head are already starting to look like they're coming out or falling out. So the, it just doesn't look that strong. I can definitely tell that this probably looked good when it was fresh and yeah like he said uh, just a lot of blowouts which probably happened throughout the healing yeah there's just not much to say other than the line work you know it's just not very strong the idea is there right yeah yeah good concept just uh i don't know kind of missed the mark on the on the actual quality of the line work i'd be curious to see all, how old this tattoo is if it's a new tattoo um a little disappointing i would like to think that this tattoo is over 10 years old, it really looks like it, but uh, yeah, who knows? The design is, is okay. Um, some parts aren't as even as others. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the breast. <laughs> <laughs> but you did send in this other one. I think it's a little bit better, so let's give that a peek. So yeah, definitely a step up from your previous tattoo. The idea is still there, dope idea. And yeah, just overall, just uh, definitely a stronger tattoo. Um, I don't know if it was by like the same artist or you, know, you just uh, learned from the last tattoo and went to a different artist that to tackle something better. I'm gonna say it was done by a different artist. Uh, yeah, unless that artist really learned a lot. Uh, but it definitely looks like two artists did the shit just because the line quality on this one is uh, a lot cleaner throughout the entire thing. The shading is pretty solid. I love the, the, the little house in the background with the stairs coming down. And it's not that much of a space inside these wings, but you, you managed to build a nice environment for the bat. And it's pretty dope. I do like the little white highlights everywhere. Uh, it's nice, it's spooky. Uh, overall, I mean, you have uh, one bad tattoo and one good tattoo. We all got bad tattoos, so nothing wrong there. You can obviously tell the difference between them both, mainly in the line work. The first one was just line work. And on the second one, you can tell that artist obviously way better with his lines. You can even tell in the thin lines, the little single needle lines, even those are clean and those are really hard to keep clean. What are your thoughts? What's your conclusion? Yeah, I mean, it's essentially the same thing Lefty said. It's a, it, it just seems like the first tattoo is a little bit more amateurish. I would be hard pressed to believe that the same artist did both of them. It just kind of looks like maybe a tattoo that was uh, possibly even done outside of a shop environment. Again, I could be wrong, just from my experience, those were the kind of tattoos that I was putting out before I ever got into a shop, whereas it looks like a well-trained eye that was working on the second one with the bat. You can tell that that person knows little tips and techniques that the other person is uh, lacking. Thank you so much, Libby, for sending those in. Much appreciated. Next one up is from Ethan Slat. Sent in a Jesus tattoo covering a little cross tattoo. I would hardly call this a cover-up, but uh, it is covering up the cross, so we'll, we'll, we'll call it a cover up. I really don't think this is a bad tattoo at all. I don't think it's a great tattoo, but I do think it's a good tattoo. I like the amount of black you have in there in the shadows and, 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 and just how bold everything is. I do feel like maybe it gets a little bit lost in the crown of thorns, but it's not bad and it's also a crown of thorns, so it's meant to kind of be messy and, and sharp. There is a shadow that sits underneath the crown that I kind of wish was either more solid or had more texture in it because I can kind of see the skin tone through that shadow. Uh, and I know when that heals up, it's just gonna be a little bit lighter. So I know I'm gonna be able to see that skin tone a bit more. If you were to either add some more solid black or just a little bit of texture in that shadow, I think it would help mask that and especially help out when it heals. I also think you could have done without the lines that are coming down on the knuckles. Uh, one, because they're not necessary, and two, that when that stuff heals, it's probably gonna heal up a little bit spotty. So I think they're just unnecessary lines that don't need to be there. You probably could have ended it with the beard called it good, but exceptional job covering a cross. I, like, I really couldn't tell if that cross was there at all. So, it, I mean, exceptional job with the cover up. 
I don't know, he's tripping. I think the tattoo is dope. I hardly have anything bad to say about it other than when he mentioned the shadow underneath the crown, that, um, that is probably, yeah, me nitpicking it. That is the one thing I definitely agree with, either more texture or being more solid black. I also agree with the little lines going down on the knuckles kind of being pointless, and that's really all I got to say about it. Other than that, I think it's awesome. Yeah, solid job from the tattooer. Thank you, Ethan, for sending that in. Much, much appreciated. Alrighty, uh, the, this next one is from Jordan Hartman. And right off the bat, like I can say, super unique design, really artistic. I mean, I like I like the design of it. If, I, if I'm just like reaching for stuff, I mean, just the color, like kind of like in the back of the frog, looks a little messy, you know, just, just kind of looks like maybe it wasn't supposed to look like that. I can't tell. Obviously, I'm assuming that it's supposed to look like that. Cause those purples in the umbrella look dope. Yeah, the purples in the umbrella look dope and all that. It looks like a galaxy in the frog, which is, makes me think like it's supposed to look like that. Like I said, yeah, that's just me reaching, you know, uh, line work is clean. The stipple shading like in, in the background is smooth. Is it an umbrella? Is that what that's supposed to be? It's an umbrella, yeah. Yeah, it looks like an umbrella. Yeah, the frog is dope. The design's cool. I do like the colors, but you're right. How it kind of just seems like a, like melted ice cream had gotten a little it, too. It looks like an actual like watercolor painting, but it looks like you kind of like, you know, messed up with it and you can't erase or you're just like, ah, let me fix it, you know, because I've, I've run into that problem. So. Yeah, colors kind of got a little messy in the back, but other than that, that yeah, that, but that's me reaching. That's me trying to find something negative to say. Right. The one thing I'm not a fan of as far as the picture itself goes, I like to see tattoos that are um, unedited whatsoever. The tattoo itself is unedited, but I'm not a fan of how these little lines uh, from the background go over on top. It's not bad, but it's just kind of misleading almost. I've seen artists in the past draw or Photoshop designs over a tattoo or even smear tattoo ink on a design and then take the photo. And I think it's just a little misleading. I don't hate it, but I just wish that those designs weren't on top of the actual tattoo photo so I could see a clear image. That's all. Oh, and I want to touch again on the, uh, the little umbrella as well. I love the purples and blues. I, th I think you did an exception. That's probably my favorite part in the whole tattoo is just the, the, the color blending that you have there. Not the biggest fan of the flower on top of the umbrella. I think it could be a hair cleaner, but it's not that bad. I just think it's because it's so small that maybe you kind of tone back on having so many lines in there. And again, as Lefty, Lefty said, I'm, I'm just nitpicking because it's a solid tattoo. I like it. I, I like the artistry and the creativeness that's going on. The right hand backwards. It's a frog. No, yeah, it's a frog. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's like sitting like this. Yeah, how do frogs sit? I don't know. I don't know. That's a desert rain frog, I can tell. Is it really? Yeah, it Damn. squeaks. It sounds like a little squeaker. You're so smart. Yeah. Right on, Jordan. I'm, I'm really a fan of this tattoo. There's really nothing bad I can say about it. You know, to be honest, it, it's like from this little little bit of color in the back of the frog. But yeah, but I feel like, like I said, at that point, we're kind of just splitting hairs because everything is is super solid about this tattoo. And I'm a fan of everything with it. So thank you so much, Jordan, for sending that in. Seriously red tattoo. So the next one is sent in by Annie. Annie, you said you heard us mention uh, the toilet tattoo and you sent in just that. You mentioned in the email that it was their first time uh, doing shading, but it also looks like it was their first time doing a tattoo in general. Um, all of it, lines and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no, not a single good thing. No, no, it's really not anything good yeah. to say about it. The lines are scarred. You can tell that the lines at the bottom are scarred up to shit. I'm sure uh, a blind person could read this tattoo. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> it's just bad. <laughs> I, I have a challenge. Let's try and find something nice to say about the tattoo. <laughs> um, well, it looks like a toilet. I can tell. <laughs> we can tell it's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shitty. Annie Joe, thank you, Annie Joe, for letting us rip that shit up. Caleb Hendrickson sent us in this geisha. Claims it is their favorite tattoo, as it should be. Overall, right off the bat, I love the designs that you have running through the kimono. I think the bottom is spectacular. There's a little diamond shapes that you have in there. Money. Yeah, I also love this piece. I love the design in the kimono. I. Personally, I like the top part more. It's all like the same. They did not like mess up on any of those little, uh, whatever those are on the little designs. Little pinwheels. On, yeah, little pinwheels. Like they all look pretty much exactly the same. Line weight and everything, just killer tattoo. I can't even find a, for real like nice. a bad thing to say about it. On honestly, right? The the, the facial structure and that in that style of art nailed it. I'm like I don't know what it is about the bottom, but I love the bottom of the dress. It's so uniform. Yeah, I mean, uh, right? I I can't think of a roast, man. Excellent work, Caleb. If you don't mind, send me a photo uh, of this healed up. I'd like to see how that settled in. The next one is sent in by Nolly. Nolly sent in two tattoos. We're gonna start with this skull. Not so good. 
There's a lot I can say about this. I'm gonna start with this red section of the skull on the inside of the eyes. I don't know what happened to the top line of this. It just, it either blew out. Um, it doesn't look like you had a rubber band on your needle because it looks like that thing is just all over the place. I, oh man. It looks like the artist kind of scratched in the top line, and yeah, I said scratched, and then kind of got a little bit crazy with the shading because there is shading that just sort of goes way past that line across the whole thing, which is odd because, oh no, no, it's outside the lines everywhere. Never mind. <laughs> uh, this this artist probably wasn't a very good uh, with coloring books. It's probably what I would get him for Christmas. Maybe get him a couple coloring books. Let him practice them. Okay. I don't feel super bad uh, it being an apprentice because it looks like an apprentice tattoo. I'm gonna rip this up a little bit. Uh, if it were an artist, I'd feel a little bit more bad about this, but I don't because this needs a lot of work. Get this an apprentice a coloring book and uh, apprentice, if you're watching this, man, you've, you've got to learn to color in the lines. Like, um, because this is, there's everywhere outside this, underneath the skull, on the left side of the bottom of the skull, underneath the red, above the red. The line weight is janky um, to say the least. You need some stronger structure. It, it's just odd that there's like a stronger line weight in the teeth and then like in the cavity of the eye, it's, it's, it's all over the place. You know, there's thin parts, there's, there's no lines at all somewhere. Uh, it's very scratchy on the cavity of the inside of the eye. Could have been made darker. Um, same thing with the nose, could have been made darker. When you're gonna put a split through a tattoo like this, the both splits, they need to be precision. You need to make those as clean as possible. Figure it out, whether that's a liner or a shader, you need to get those uh, as near perfect as possible because aside from the tattoo as a whole, those are two key elements. So that's where your eye goes, to the split and to the red. And if they're not perfect, your eye is gonna see that. I, and it's just uh, all the sh on the outside of the lines is just too hard not to notice. Have some more control with that stipple shading, you know? The bottom of the skull is probably the best part. I'll give you something I like. I like the the texture and the, the grooves you have above the teeth, but that's about it for me. Yeah, I guess uh, pretty much everything Pony said. Uh, <laughs> well, one thing I noticed, you know, when, when, when we tattoo, we usually start from bottom to top, and you can tell he kind of got lazy the, the higher up he got. You know, you can just tell in the section the, the bottom part is the best part about it, and then I don't know what happened when they got to the middle and then the top, I mean, it's there. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> it also just looks like I, that apprentice was tackling tattoos. They probably shouldn't have been tackling, but also you didn't get the worst apprentice tattoo. You know, we, you'll see earlier in the video, the toilet tattoo, which was an apprentice tattoo um, as well. You could have ended up with that. Um, so, I mean, it's not the worst apprentice tattoo. I mean, the fact that you got it from an apprentice, you, you know, you shouldn't feel too, too bad about it being bad. You know, I, you kind of knew what you were, getting yourself into, I guess. Yeah, it looks like an apprentice tattoo. Yeah, it looks like an apprentice tattoo. Did they send another one or is that it? So it's called an apprenticing. Oh, wait, oh, this, he is the apprentice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so my bad, this is this is the apprentice that sent this in. And I know you mentioned it in an email, but it's kind of off to the side. When you send these in, folks, uh, if try to remember to mark these clearly, whether or not these are on you or you did these tattoos. In, in the subject line would, would, would definitely help. He's only been doing it three months, but it's like. Uh, I mean, at least this one can definitely be saved. You know, if yeah. you got a 14 round liner, you can fix that outer, outer line, you know. Yeah, use some uh, thicker lines. Back, yeah, get back on that in like a year or two. Yeah, for sure. Could use some thicker line weights, could use some uh, darker shades. Just slow down a bit. But other than that, thanks for sending that in. We appreciate it. Do better. Kind of dope. We might have, we might have a, a winner on one of these. Frog riding a bird, dope. And whatever this is, eating a watermelon. A dope. Rat. <laughs> rat. Is that a rat or is that like a rat? Yeah. No, that's gotta be a f mic. That's a gopher, rat. Gopher or something. Mole? That's a rat ear. No, you're high. That's what? Look at its teeth. Where's the tail? I mean, on the, the, on the other side of his neck, maybe. That looks like a gopher. <laughs> uh, Liam sent in a few tattoos, all really dope. The first one he sent in is this gopher. It's a rat. First, I want you to let us know whether this is a rat or a gopher. I think it's a rat. He, for some reason, thinks it's a gopher. <laughs> I can't see the tail. I'm just gonna believe that the tail's back there because I know it's a rat. I really, you know, I like this piece. It's a dope design. I love the colors and all that. The really negative thing I can say about it is kind of like the, the black shading on its back. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. I, I can't pinpoint why, but I just know I don't like it. Trying to give it that curve, but it doesn't yeah, quite it, Yeah, it, it's, it's well. not quite hitting the mark. As far as technical ability goes, though, like the lines and the solid color that it has, the, the solid saturation it seems in there. One little thing I love about this tattoo is the little whip shade from these seeds in the watermelon. I don't know what it is, but I like them a lot. 
That's how it's got that little bit of gray underneath the seeds. I would have liked to see more like green in a watermelon instead of the teal, just to make it more watermelony. If it is a rat, I'd like to see red in the eye. The nose kind of throws me off. That kind of makes, it just, to me, it doesn't feel like a rat. I don't see a rat tail, and if I was gonna tattoo a rat, I would definitely throw on some wild looking tail, and I think I would have made the nose longer and not so scrunched up. That's what makes me think it's like a gopher of some sort. When have but you ever seen a gopher make that face? When have you seen a gopher? You just pulled some up on it on Google Images right now. <laughs> we were arguing about this. <laughs> I love the tattoo. I'm just kind of confused on the design a little bit. Um, you did send in another one though from the same artist on the other side of the neck. This one's clearly a frog riding a bird or a, a samurai frog riding a bird. This one is probably one of my more favorite tattoos that we've even seen today. I really love this tattoo. Um, I love frogs in general. And I always love those designs of like frogs wearing kimonos, you know, with a- uh, Riding things. Uh, yeah, riding things with samurai swords. I, I, I just like those traditional frog designs too. So I just also just really like this design. The bird solid, uh, yeah, I mean. I don't, see, I don't see a tail from that rat on this side of the neck. Oh, you know. <laughs> see, there's no gopher tail on this side. And maybe it's going down his back, <laughs> Not, you know? Okay. Let, please let us know if it's a rat or a gopher or if we're both wrong. Oh. Okay, he cut off the rat tail. <laughs> there you go. He's flying away. <laughs> yeah. I figured out the mystery. Yeah, I, I, would, <laughs> I would love to see that tongue a little bit longer. You know, I mean, it's fucking dope as is, but uh, I would love to see that tongue just doing something crazy, you know, like whipping around or something like that. They sent over some palm tattoos as well. Palm tattoos are probably one of the hardest things to tattoo as well as heal properly. It looks like you've got a heal tattoo on your right palm, nice fresh one on your left. If it's from the same artist, you can expect the same kind of healing from the left palm, uh, which should be great. The right one healed pretty good. Of course, you're gonna have the expected little bit of fallout around the edges. To be honest, most palm tattoos do not heal even as good as the one here. I don't know if you feel the same way, but all the palm tattoos I see usually end up fairly spotty. Yeah, I mean, I even have a palm tattoo and it's, you can't even figure out what that is. I don't even know what it is anymore. I mean, obviously on the healed one, some of the lines fell out, but I'm still gonna call this a solid tattoo because you know, you know how palms heal up, you know? So that stayed in uh, really good. And honestly, if you, if you did get it by the same artist, um, I'm expecting that other one to heal up just as good. Solid design, especially for a palm, you know, um, that healed one would suck if it was like on your leg and it fell out that much for the palm. Super solid. Does look like uh, the mace is being swung by a bunch of paper clips, though. Whatever. You know, you, again, you can't go crazy detailed with those things, so it works. Yeah. I just, uh, it, it just looks like paper clips to me, is all. All around, solid work, man. I'd be happy to wear any of those tattoos you've got on you. Especially the rat. R A T. Rat. <laughs> cool. I think Go for So we believe this week's um, favorite tattoo came in from Liam. Um, yeah, I, we both uh, mutually decided on the frog on the bird um, since, you know, we've been debating on, you know, the rat go, go for a lot. Um, but yeah, they're both solid, but this one definitely takes the cake. Yeah, I mean, just solid execution. The, yeah. the, the, the technical ability there in that tattoo is, is on point. Um, the color is there, the, the design work is there. Above all the rest we've seen this week, this one just has a... Uh, all the elements to, to make a good tattoo, right? Yeah, you also get like extra brownie points because uh, getting a tattoo that solid on the neck is uh, very, difficult. very difficult. Absolutely. So this week's toilet tattoo goes to Annie Jo uh, with a literal toilet tattoo, that one toilet tattoo, because it's also probably the worst toilet tattoo that we've ever seen out of toilet tattoos. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like the apprentice was being um, taught by an apprentice. The, it's just scarred all over. It's, it's really not that good. Yeah, line work is caca, the shading is poo, you know, just overall, it deserves the title of the tattoo. That does it for this week. I want to thank you all for sending in your tattoos. Again, if you want to send them in for a future episode, you can send them to ponycritiques at gmail.com. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you so much, Lefty, for being here. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Um, if you guys want to check out my work, uh, just remember, Lefty Tattooer on Instagram. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>